Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Coral and today I'm going to talk to you about six mistakes you don't want to do when you start your blog. So I know it's maybe difficult to start your own blog and you may already start it or you just think about starting it. And I want to share with you these mistakes because it will make everything so much easier for you, trust me. Okay, so mistake number one is to write about a topic or a certain niche that you don't have a passion about it and you don't really like it. So it's maybe easy um, to write about a topic that you don't know about it because we have the internet. So for example, if I don't like to talk about food, for example, I can just search about it and find a lot of articles about food and recipes and just write about it in my blog. But the problem will begin after the first uh, few posts. Because if you don't really like it, so you will not be consistent and you just quit very quickly. And think about it this way. Let's say someone will invite you to do two speech in front of a lot of people. And one speech will be about something you really like, let's say fashion, that you are passionate about it and you love it so much, you think about it, you leave it. And let's say the other subject will be something you don't like or you don't know about, let's say dietetic food. So in the first speech, when you will do it, so you will be amazing, okay? You will do it so good because it's something that you really love. So you will have examples from your own life. You can talk about it for hours. And the other subjects, you don't like it so much. So, okay, you will do your research before your speech and it will be okay, but you will just give information, okay? It's like just to give information, it will be exactly like I will read it now from the internet or from a book or from my notebook. It will not be from my heart because I don't believe in it. So this is the difference between to do something that you really love and to do something that you don't love so much, okay? And this is the same thing about blogging. If you will write about something that you don't love and you don't have the passion for it, so you will not succeed, that's it, period, okay? So you can write about it, you can do your research, you can do copy-paste or whatever, but people will notice. When they will read it, they will know it's not from your heart. So I really recommend, don't do this mistake, don't start with a niche that you don't know about, don't start with a topic that you don't have the passion about it, because you will not succeed this way. If you want to be successful, you need to write about something that you love, something that you think about it every day, all the time, something that you live for. So it's very, very important and you need to remember that. Oh, and also when you write about something that you don't really love, so very fast, it will be like a task that you need to do, like a job and not something that you live for. And this is the way to quit blogging because you will not be consistent. It will be hard for you to wake up in the morning and start to write. So you need to keep that in mind. Okay, so mistake number two is don't start your blog on a free blogging platforms like Blogger, like Blogpost and also don't start it with WordPress.com. So I know it's maybe easier to start your blog on a blogging platform that you already have everything served to you and it's very easy, you just need to write because the design is already made, all this hosting is already made and everything is good. So it may be easier but you need to remember it's not really yours when you when you are writing on the free blogging platform, your content is not really yours. So, for example, if the company, if this site will tomorrow want to delete your blog or to delete posts from your blog or to make some changes, they will do it. They not, don't need your permission. It's not yours. So it's very bad, I don't know, to write something and then to figure out, oh my God, they deleted it or oh my God, this um, site is not working anymore. So you don't want to do it. You want to start your blog on a self-hosting website. So this is mean that you are going to buy your own domain, you are going to buy your own hosting space with a hosting website and then you will start your blog because then all your content and everything, your site will be yours, only yours. Also, when you do it in a blogging platforms, so of course you can't control the design, you can't control every, anything, but also there will be ads on your site everywhere and you can't control it and also you will not make money for it. If you want to make money from blogging you need that the ads will be yours like something that you get in paid when everyone will look at it, when someone will click on this ad so you will get the money only if it's your website. So please make sure that when you are starting your blog it will be on a self-hosting website and it will be with wordpress.org okay so it's very very important. And mistake number three is connected to mistake number two. 
when you do choose um, a hosting website please go with a good hosting website I know it's like difficult to choose but you need to do your research you need to read a little bit you need to read um, comments to read reviews to choose your best um, suitable for you hosting website because if you will go with the bad hosting website even if it will be so cheap I promise you all the trouble that will be after it you will pay so much more and you will regret you didn't do it in the right way so you need to read you need to read comments and to read reviews and to go with a good hosting website even if it will be more expensive believe me it's worth it and you don't need all this trouble after it mistake number four is to stay with the free team that WordPress give you when you will start your blog you will get a free team from WordPress and it's nice don't get me wrong you can still run your blog with it but you may want to invest a little bit more and to pay between $10 to $50 and to buy a team that will be suitable for your blog and it's so good believe me it's the best and the reason that I recommend about buying a team instead of using the free one okay I have a couple of reasons the first one is the design because when you buy a team you can choose the design that you want for your blog and even when you buy it you have so many options with like inside the team you can choose where the logo will be you can choose like anything you want the sidebar you can choose the colors you can choose the fonts you can choose everything related to the to the design so yeah if you are thinking about design and how your site will be like when someone will get inside and will see it so it will be more professional to have a team that you chose and not a team that you know it's regular and very like like of I don't know interesting inside of it and the other reason that I have is that you know I see so many blogs that have these free teams and you know there are some like what 100 200 free teams so it's not a lot and you can see so many blogs using the same team and it's a little bit you know it's a little bit funny it's not professional so much so when you will have the team that you paid for so maybe more other 50 people 100 people 200 people will use it it's still not a lot and you need to remember that when you buy a team and you design it inside of you know you have so many options so it will always be different than other blogs okay mistake number five is don't save too much when it comes to investing in yourself and in your blog and what I mean about that is that I see so many people so many bloggers that okay they open the blog they start to blogging and they're writing good content but they are saving about like on themselves um, for example they will not buy an expensive team even if it's the best team they will not buy plugins they will only use the free one um, I have so many like examples for that for example you can use a free editor for your photos or maybe pay a couple of bucks and it will be fine it's okay but if you want your photos to be great you need to invest a little bit more and I'm not saying you know go buy an editor software that costs three hundred dollars not at all you can still find a good ones that I don't know cost a little bit more but are still good and not too expensive because you need to invest also you want to invest in plugins you want to pay a little bit more and to receive so much more I promise you it's something that you will regret if you will go only for the free ones only for the cheaper ones you don't want to do that for example you can think about a chef okay so there there is this chef and you will never see him using like cheap knives okay or like the free stuff he got from his school like like the chef school you will see him using expensive knife you can see him going to course you you can see him going to classes all the time paying money to invest in himself so it's very very important don't forget it when you are starting your blog you want to do it the best way you can do it and you also want to in, like invest in yourself like in your knowledge you want to do some courses you want to take some classes online you want to learn more all the time because every day there is something new that's you know related to blogging or the internet that you need to know about it so it's very very important don't save on yourself okay okay and mistake number six is something that I can see so much and it said don't quit you know most of the blogs are fail and I know it's not so nice to hear it 
but it's a fact most of the blogs are fail and why they are failing because maybe they started I don't know on a niche or on a topic they don't want to actually write about it they don't have the passion so you know they got tired very quickly after a couple of posts and the other reason is that they are not consistent enough so I can see a lot of blogs that you know have like five six posts and then they disappeared you don't see them the blogger is not on this blog anymore and there is no new content inside of it so most blogs are fail because they are not consistent enough and they didn't want it enough and if you don't really want it you will not be successful period it's so maybe hard for you to hear it but if you don't want it you will not have you know the the passion for it you will not have the time to invest and trust me like to write a blog you will need to invest you will need to invest money you will need to invest time you will need to come home after work and you need to sit and write content till 2 a.m. and then go to sleep and go to work and again and you will need to do it all the time and it's hard and if you don't really love it and want to do it so it's a waste of time to even start and why also most of the blogs are fail because after they posted I don't know one two three posts they see that no one is commenting no one is coming to the website no entries and they're not happy with it so they just stop I think they didn't want it enough and you need to know that that on your start like when you will begin to blogging no one will read it sometimes it will feel like you are I don't know writing to yourself writing to the computer talking to a wall or something like that because no one will be there and it's hard it's hard you know to invest time and money and no one you know reading your post but you need to continue you don't need to let it discourage you or something like that because you need to remember your goals and to keep working keep working keep working all the time only the people that will be consistent only the people that will keep working and not just quit after one month these are the people that will succeed this is a fact and you need to know that and basically that's it that's all the mistake that I can think about it now I really hope this video helped you in some way and try to remember all these mistakes when you start in your own blog because it's very very important and you will feel so bad if you will not do it because it's so hard after it to change for example if you restart your blog in a niche that you are not connected to it will be hard for you then you know after a couple of months or one month to begin from the start if you will start your website your blog in a free hosting website you will regret it and then it's such a trouble to move it like from this free hosting website to a self hosting website and also if you will start with a free team and then you will want to move it to a pay team it will be so hard and most of your content will be deleted so you need to keep in mind all of these mistakes and you need to know it when you start a blog don't do these mistakes because it will be so hard to fix them so I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye bye!